Hey, we made it to Buenos Aires and we uh, didn't really have any problems going through security or anything. But we're gonna go on a walking tour now and see what Buenos Aires has to offer. So, yeah. we'll catch up with you later. See you guys. Eight things we ate in eight days. Number one on the list is Havana's. It's a great little coffee place and they're all over Argentina and I think all over South America. They make delicious espressos and they've got these uh, little cookie type things. What do you call them again? Alfajores. Alfajores. And they've got dulce de leche in the middle, uh, sandwiched in between two cookies covered in chocolate. They're just delicious, unbelievable. Number two is Freddo. It's this popular chain of ice cream parlors that are everywhere, and I have these two delicious chocolate flavors. Perfect for a hot and humid day. <laughs> Number three. We stopped at a traditional bar in San Telmo called Derego, and that's where I experienced the worst alcoholic beverage I've ever had in my life. It's called a Fernet and Coke and it tastes like cough medicine. Not his favorite. Not my favorite. <laughs> Number four is La Biela, which is a really popular cafe right next to Recoleta Cemetery, and you can sit under this huge Gomero tree outside. Unfortunately, it was raining, so we didn't sit outside, but I tried a drink called a Submarina, which is a hot glass of milk mm. with a piece of chocolate <laughs> inside of it that you stir around and make hot chocolate with. And Marcus had his usual espresso. Number five, known as one of the best grill houses in San Telmo, we ate at a place called La Brigada and <laughs> had some of the best steak in Argentina. Um, what we had was lomo, which is kind of like a... Filet mignon, kind it's like, of. It's like a filet mignon cut and it's super soft and super delicious. Number six. Down by the docks in Puerto Madero, we tried steak sandwiches from a local food vendor on the street. I must say it was pretty good, especially with the chimichurri sauce. Number seven. <laughs> on our biking tour, we stopped for some mate tea, which our guide prepared. It's really delicious, and unlike conventional tea that's brewed in a kettle, you put this straight in your cup, and then you drink it through a filtered straw. It's really delicious and was one of my favorite experiences. And finally, number eight is the oldest cafe in the city called Cafe Tortoni. No, no, Tortoni. <laughs> yeah, okay, like that. And I had my usual Submarino and Marcus had his espresso. And it was a really cool place to just sit down and look at all the decorations on the wall and very touristy, but cool place to be.